I'm gonna show you how to do a simple effect. It's what I call the flashback effect. So you wanna know how to do the best effects that are not that time consuming. I like it, it's one of my favorites. Anybody can do it and you can do it too. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a simple effect. Have you ever watched a movie or a show and then somebody forgot something, something that has to do with the past happens and a clip shows them talking about it in the past? That's what I call the flashback effect. It's very simple to do and I'm sure there's a million ways to do it. If you're a filmmaker or you're editing movies, most of the time you will probably have a decent amount of time to edit. So you can actually take your time to make it amazing. If you're a YouTube editor, sometimes your timelines are very tight, especially if you do daily blogging or if you edit for somebody that does daily blogging. Sometimes it could be 12 hour delivery, 24 hours. So you wanna know how to do the best effects that are not that time consuming. So I'm gonna show you the fastest way to do this effect and it actually looks pretty good. So let's hop into Premiere and I'll show you. All right guys, so now we're gonna do the flashback effect. As you can see, we're here in Premiere and I just dropped the file that I just recorded over there at the studio. What we gotta do is transition from this clip somewhere else. So this part where I'm saying what a flashback effect is. Okay, so in between those two clips, let's say I want to create a flashback right here in this part. So I'm basically here saying, Have you ever watched a movie or a show and then somebody forgot something or somebody something that has to do with the past happens? Let's not mention the fact that that was terrible, but then I found a clip that I recorded a long time ago when I was doing a trip to another country. So I'm gonna put it right here let me move this over here and what's up guys some time ago i decided to do a trip somewhere far i was trying to figure out where to go i want well they've cut the silence there real quick yeah. what's up guys so some time ago i i decided to i, I decided to do a trip so, somewhere far I, I was trying to figure out okay. where to go i wanted to do some cool video maybe a play play where not a lot play where not a lot of people have ever been Okay, so then we just drag this closer and we got this. So we want to do a flashback effect from this part up to this part. So let's mark this and make it pink here. So what we're going to do, it's very simple. First off, we need to symbolize that this is uh, like before. So we're going to do black and white. So we go to our effect panel right here, type black and white, and we drop it over all the clips okay boom black and what's white up, guys? so now we know but it still looks terrible guys, right what's up guys so, so then the next step is to make it sound like if in the past and for some reason the studio revert sounds like that for us i feel like movie have been using it for so long that that just makes you feel like it's something that happened before so once you put the studio revert effect here you go to the effects panel on the right side here and you click edit and you put vocal reverb large. When you add vocal reverb, it lowers the total volume of the clip. So you will wanna go to audio gain and hype it up to five. And then you copy that effect right here. Then you paste it on all the other clips. So you copy this and paste it. So now when you listen and remember to hype it up to five, What's up guys? Some time ago, I decided to do a trip somewhere far. I was trying to figure out where to go. I wanted to do some cool video, maybe a play where not a lot of people have ever been. Okay, so that's that part. So then what you gotta do is to create a transition. In, in this time, I already have a set uh, transition pre-made here. It's just a sound with a transition effect. I use this one a lot. So. We go here, we make sure that the V1 and A1 is not selected so they can go over it and we paste it. You don't need to have a special transition here. You can create your own, you can download a preset or anything, but this is the one that I have. So basically you're gonna see that it zooms in and out. We're gonna do the same transition for the end. And now we watch the whole thing and look how this look like. Have you ever watched a movie or a show and then somebody forgot something 
or somebody, something that has to do with the past happens. What's up guys? Some time ago, I decided to do a trip somewhere far. I was trying to figure out where to go. I wanted to do some cool videos, maybe a place where not a lot of people have ever been. That's what I call the flashback effect. Now, obviously, in this example, it's not that good because it's not res it doesn't resemble something that happened before. But what you have to understand here is how to do the effect. It's a funny way to resemble something that was said in the past or maybe you want to do it in a more cinematic way. But this effect is very simple. You can replicate it. It's not that complicated. There's other ways to do it. You can download some presets. I'm sure there's a million other ways to do it, but this is the way I do it the fastest. As you can see, I, I did it pretty quickly. I can do it even faster if I wasn't recording, but yeah, that's it. So there you go. That's how you do that effect. It's pretty simple. You can use it a lot. I like it. It's one of my favorites. It really adds to the story, makes it pretty funny or serious, depending on how you want to use it. Anybody can do it and you can do it too. Let me know if you want to learn any other effects, techniques, uh, tutorials, anything. I'll be happy to do it for you. Once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.